One under through the first five holes. Lizette Salas making the turn for birdie here at the par 5 18th. You can see the water that'll be in play here. And Lizette, who says her game is coming around. It's a Solheim Cup year, and she would dearly like to be a part of that scene again. Moving into a tie for third at two under. The fourth for birdie. On one of those dangerous par threes, again, depending on where the hole location is. But Salas. Beautifully done into a tie at the top. This is Lizette Salas for birdie at the par five fifth. Playing in her 44th major championship. She's uh, started a major with a round under. Holes that has not had a bogey. So, and she maintains that. We mentioned it's a Solheim Cup year. She's played on the Solheim Cup. Team. Rather than take on that right side, because. That's a bit of a no-no, but this one, please she's go. trying to draw this in. Go. Yeah, that's go good to go. Control. That's going to be fine. It is. A seven-year age gap between Lydia Cohen and Lizette. Together, but when you take one half of that combination away, it's tough. Up to seven. Yeah, downhill, left to right putt for Lizette. Let's see if she gets the speed right here. Good try. Thanks. This is Salas over at the eighth for birdie. Part for Lizette, but better than going long here. It was uh, back at the end of May, ended up finishing tied for fifth then. Coming off a sixth place finish last week at the Meyer LPGA Classic. Had not had a top 20 prior to that result. One thing I do know from, from watching the golf so far today is that you can go out there and get to five under par, but it doesn't necessarily mean you'll stay there.